Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can use the Bezier pen tool to trace an image and this is an image of a cat that uh, I've imported. If I click on it you can see it says image so if I try to change the colour you know it doesn't have any effect because uh, you can't do that with images. So I'll show you how you can use the Bezier pen tool to create a, a vector graphic of that uh, cat or very similar anyway. What I might do with that image uh, selected is under the fill and stroke um, I'll just change the opacity down to a low amount make it easy to see my Bezier pen lines. With the Bezier pen tool I'll click that there let's just uh, zoom in and I'll start at the uh, bottom inside of the uh, right ear there. If I click, click click that just produces sharp edges but I'm going to do that the whole way around. I'm not going to try and click and drag to create uh, smooth edges. I get into a bit of trouble when I try to do that. So I'm just going to use um, straight segments now. I'll just go to key cusp nodes like that. I can always pull this line out later on and maybe down to there. Again maybe to, no, I'll look to there. You can see the frequency with which I'm doing this is not great and some super approximation of the cat shape at the moment. And I'll just uh, keep going maybe to there. And cusp nodes I'll home in on and put points there. Click and the ear and when it uh, when you hover over and the point goes red it's ready to close the curve and there it is. So you can see there's a simple, super simple approximation of a cat. Probably not too bad actually, but anyway. Now I'm going to grab the uh, Bezier, sorry not the Bezier pen tool, the node tool, which is this one here, or N. And I'm going to drag out some of these lines. I'll show you what I mean. If I click on that segment there at the top of the head, I can just drag it and curve it nicely. Even down here, grabbing it about there, you can move where you, as you do it if you like. And there, and you can see... It's probably an easier way to get a curve for a lot of people. This one I might drag in a little bit. This one may be out a little bit. Uh, over here, maybe to there. I'll just work my way around the cat now. Down a bit. Maybe in a bit there. Out a bit there, and so on. I don't have to follow it exactly, I can always uh, vary it a little bit and just by pulling out curves there I'm zooming in and out by holding down the control and mouse wheeling up and down there and maybe this one out a little bit there now I'm not finished but uh, that's actually not too bad if I go to the select tool that's not too bad at all really and of course now I can give that a fill for example, if I wanted to fill it with an orange, I could do that. But what I might do is, with it selected, press N again for the node tool. Now pretty much uh, everything from below the neck here I want as a smooth node. So I'll click it once, then select them all. And I'll hit this icon here for smooth node. Just smooth things out a bit. And let's have another look. Now down here, if I click on it, you can see there are gradient handles here. Um, not sure what's going on there. Oh, here it is. And you can use those a little bit if you want as well. You can sort of tweak things there. This point here I might want as a sharp cusp node, so I'll click this icon here and I'll just drag it. Actually, it's uh, still looking. Oh no. There we go. And drag this one in a bit you can easily get into trouble pretty quickly. I might just delete that point, sometimes less is more and you can sort of play around with that and use the gradient handles to correct things. So don't be afraid to delete points. Now see that's a bit sharp, even though it's a sharp point I might uh, do it as a smooth join by clicking that icon there. If I click away, now that looks uh, not too bad. Uh, you can go around and play around a little bit more, click with the node tool and drag things out a bit but uh, you can also use these gradient handles as I explained and sometimes they can be used to make a gradient persist for a bit longer Whoops. 
Okay, so there are just a few uh, fundamentals for how you can use the, uh, the node tool. Even though you start with straight segments, uh, sometimes that's a bit easier than trying to create curves as you go. I think I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching.